All right, boys, Need for Speed on Bound. We're back with another Goska video. We're in A plus tier, and um, things still does not disappoint. Still a beast. Nobody can touch it. We actually had a full lobby. Um, I'm actually still in the lobby because these dudes are just cranking out races left and right. So hopefully I can build another one and jump back in. But uh, look, went against an Evo. I think the Cayman GT4, the one you get for whatever activities or collectibles. Um, couldn't touch me, man. Couldn't touch me. I think at one point, like, I goofed up a corner and they caught up. But then I was just like, zoom, gone. Um, so it was a lot of testing with this. And I, I went back and redid some some specs in the engine. So basically, first engine topped a 161. And then I switched it. I was like, all right, well, that's a little low for A+. Kind of, not really. You're not really going to hit it. Maybe one track you might hit that much. So I was like, let me throw the six speed in it and it hit 169, but they still trap the same time. So it's really worthless. So anyway, 161, 156, 158, 162. Um, couldn't get this 3.5 liter V6 down. And then 159, 159, couldn't get this one down as well. So everything topped out. And this is all with the five speed gearbox. But when it comes down to it, Look, I'll throw the drag race up. So I did the drag race with the stock engine, five speed, six speed, and then it just came down to this 3.8 liter V8, which usually this 2.9 liter V8 is good in these little JDM cars. Nope. So one, two, three, fourth engine, 3.8 liter V8. Throw it on in, brother. Throw it on in. Parts, pro, pro, pro. I think everything everything's stock because you can't really touch much with this because it's it's a little, it's, it's an S class. Everything's pro. Pro single turbo, sport nitrous, elite road suspension, leave the basic brakes, elite grip tires. You got to bump it down to the basic clutch. Now it does shift slow, but it's still the fastest. Like that, those slow shifts kill me, man, but it's not much you can do. Uh, throw the five speed in it and elite differential grip and drift. Now as far as handling, this gets a little goofy. Watch what happens. Watch the rating. 274 um and if you look i was going i was here i was at 260 i was like all right let me bump it up and then look it just jumps 272 273 and then it goes back and if you look the stats get better and it goes down and it like it's all over the place so if you're messing around with it don't worry 75 percent grip is where you got to be and as far as downforce full high because it look it just changes <coughs> i don't that's Something, something's goofy with it, but full high down for 75%. It's a little goofy, but now even at 75%, this thing is very drifty. Um, being a tier, it was grip monster, man. Now it, uh, wants to give out on you. So that's, I was fighting with that a little bit, but overall this thing, it's still stupid fast. So all three tiers so far, nothing has been able to beat it. And I've, I raced one when I was testing my NSX in S tier yesterday. DNF me in one race. I've never been DNF. Freaking that's how fast this thing is. So I can't wait to build it on this next tier. And S plus I'm sure it's going to be rocket. I don't know if it'll have the top speed, but look, that's the build for it, guys. You know the drill. Subscribe, come back, check out other builds. Just lo unlock the, uh, what was it, 2017 NSX, the new NSX. I've heard that's kind of broken in B tier. So we'll see what happens with that. But uh, anyway, boys, enjoy the races.